What's up? This your girl Sequoia, the one and only Miss Poppin' and Palms. You are now live with Dip TV. Hey now. Bam. Okay. Today, I got a special guest, a real special guest. This is my home girl. We go like we go back a long time. <laughs> Miss <laughs> Miss, I gotta get your name right. Miss Sequana. 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 Sequoia. Sequoia. Watson. Miss Sequoia Watson. Miss Poppin' and Pumps. How you doing, baby? What it do? What's good? All right, how you doing? It's, it's, thank you. We've been trying to do this interview for a long couple weeks. Ooh, yeah. Uh -huh. Y'all know, duty calls. She is a gotta busy get, lady. Gotta get these coins. She is a busy lady. So, listen. Let these folks know where. Well, I know where you're from, but I think folks know where you come from, uh, Mr. Quino. Okay. Well, I am a native of Memphis, Tennessee, mm. born and raised here in the North, Klondike, Smoke City, hey. Air Street, all that. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> you know, come out. Just a little, little girl grew up in the uh, in the hood, in the trenches. Y'all know trenches. what's going on. Most definitely. She is a North Memphis veteran, y'all. So don't and is. Don't let the pretty fight fool. Please don't, because mm -hmm. it can't get a little, you know. So, Miss Quan Miss Watson, yeah. you are a busy lady out here. I had to get you on my show, because I, like, been seeing your, um, you been your hard work, like, for real, though. So, I want to ask you, like, first, like, how did you, what made you come up with the idea for the popping and punch? Well, um, I've been a dancer since I was five. Okay. So, mostly okay. started out with doing, um, majorette. Mm -hmm. Um, as I got older, growing up and everything, I kind of started branching out into doing other things. I didn't take any classes, so let me be clear. Mm. I never was trained, y'all. So you, hold on, hold on. So you do this shit just... This shit... It just natural. Down, it's natural. Mine, it's cold. Let me tell y'all, like, <laughs> this is not, this is not make-believe. This is, I'm not making this up. Like, I took no training classes, I'm telling you. Um, I was just one of those kids that I, I like to go outside, but... You can give me a music, give me music, or give me the videos on TV in my bedroom. I'm good to go. It's always. So yeah, it was always. So I pretty much <laughs> taught myself how to do everything. Damn. So, um, like couple, four years ago, because it's been four years now, mm. um, I used to take these classes uh, by the young lady named Brandy Evans. That's actually the the lady Mercedes that's on P Valley. Mm. I used to go to some of her classes and everything, and then you know when she had got big in the dance thing and everything she ended up moving to LA and stuff and um it wasn't no more dance classes here in Memphis Dang. so I was just was like it. you know what let me step out and let me just let me put my talent to the test my. let me show these people what I can deliver and what I can give okay. so I hit one of my homegirls up one day and I said hey I got an idea of something I want to do I hit her with the idea and I said I need a catchy name okay. something that's gonna pop right. and she called me back y'all in about five ten minutes and she said Popping in pumps. She and I name. say, what's, up, what's your friend name again? Chanel. Shout out to Chanel. That's a big old night. Shout out to Sus, Chanel, period. So okay. she said, Sus, popping in pumps. And I said, wow. I said, yeah, that's catchy. Mm. Like, okay. So she came up with the name, and four years ago, and four, now, four years later, here I am. I'm talking about four years. I really remember her, y'all, telling me like she's gonna start this shit, and she really like, she really like took off with me. I this took shit. off with now, this. Now, so listen, I be seeing other girls like trying. To, well, I ain't gonna say trying. Like I been seeing other girls like twerk classes, baby. Yeah. How do you feel like? Cause I ain't gonna lie, you got a good ass following. Yes. So how do you feel about other girls just trying to dibble in the? And the crowd, do you think they try? Uh, do they take it? You take your shit serious. Serious. Is what I'm saying. Yes. So some folks just be thinking they can cool their ears, they can do this shit. Right. Just because they them. Well, I look at it like this. You know, I'm just I've always been a person where, um, I mean, everybody want to get some money. Let's just be clear. Okay. I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's you doing hair, you doing nails, you selling clothes, whatever it is. Okay. But for me, and I'm speaking only for me. I can't speak for other people. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, nine times out of ten, it ain't always necessarily about the money for me. My craft and my talent is bigger than any amount of money. I like to deliver. Like, at the end of the day, well, however much you done paid me or whatever you come to me with when it comes to the cars, mm -hmm. if I can't deliver what I'm selling and what, I, what you see and what I've been telling you about, I have not done my job. Okay. So, for me, I always tell people that 
it's cool. It's enough money out here for everybody. I'm okay with other ladies doing classes that I do or just like me or whatever. Right. I'd rather like collab. I'm all about collabing and linking up because we all here in Memphis. We're doing the same thing. The Your style may be a little different than my style. And it's just, you know, let's just put our city on the map. Right. I'm not about the competition. So if you about the competition, then... I just kind of feel like this ain't really where your head is. It's just a quick scheme for you. You know what I'm saying? And that ain't how I am. You know, so I just tell people whatever it is that you're trying to do or what you want to do or you don't put your mind to it, make sure that's really, really what you want to do. Most definitely. And it's just not all about I'm just trying to get a quick book mm -hmm. off, of, off another person or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, let, that, let your talent really show in what you do. Like your feelings, your showmanship, See, everything. It shows when, it, like, every time it, like, it's natural with you. You Man, know what I'm saying? Like, it Man, it's like, it's listen. personal. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? This girl, it went viral. <clears throat> Off the fucking chicken head, man. Literally. I'm talking about, like, this shit still going up right now. You Literally. Know what I'm so, listen, when you did that, because I had, you know, I follow you. I've been watching, you said you had been already prepared for this shit already. So, I'm like, did you see that? <laughs> I was <laughs> not playing. <laughs> So look, when the folk, when you went viral, did you like, was you like, damn, like, this fuck, it's a lot of motherfuckers watching this. Man, like, look, like, it was, my mindset went back to high school. I'm not okay. gonna lie to y'all. I was like, I was, it, as superlatives in my senior year, I won Best Dancer and Life for the Party. Okay. So, I was always that up there kind of person. So, good when that concert came around, y'all, I didn't care about <laughs> nobody else at that concert. <laughs> I was like, when Chingy get on stage, I'm going to cut the up. I'm telling y'all, I'm going to get out of my way. That's all I said. I literally all I said. He went oh, on stage that one time, and I was in my sitting area when I first did it. So mm -hmm. I didn't really get a video then. Okay. I know somebody had ended up taking a video of me, and somebody tagged me, and I was just like, oh, okay. But when he got on stage and did the Chingy in the remix, uh. I, it was over with then. I, I just saw a clear path. And at that point, y'all, I got the kidding up them steps and I moved everybody out of my way. My yeah, god yeah, sister yeah. recorded me and once I posted it, I did not think that that video was gonna hit right. one million. Like for real though. I did not see that. This shit don't happen there. It don't. I didn't see it. I just was like, man, the next day I was already at eight So I was like, what in the heck? Wow. Yeah. I mean, I had so somebody good. inbox me and say they got a, a friend that was in the the army and stuff like that mm. over in Afghanistan. They was like, they done saw your Damn. video all the way over in Afghanistan. Whoa. I was like, oh, yeah. See, wait a minute. You what? You kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> to this day, y'all, I go back and look at that video and I'm like, I can't believe I hit one I'm talking about million bees on the chicken head. That is a big deal. Like for real, for real, and you showed your ass. Oh, I, I listen. <laughs> if I can't take my hat off about nothing, baby, I'll take my hat off today. Mm -hmm. I clowned. Almost oh, there, and you, it looked like you were having a good time. So I had a wonderful. That time. was a that was a real, real, real oh, yeah, power moment. moment on that. <laughs> <laughs> I knew so, it. at that moment I knew then. I said, oh, I don't put Memphis on the. Oh, Almost there, baby. <laughs> they looking at you right now. They don't know. I had to say, I gotta, I gotta get this motherfucker interview with this young lady her. <laughs> so listen, this lady her is real, um, real talented, and she's not. Not just a dancing fool, she's a modeling fool. I love your walk, scare me, but you do gotta walk on you, girl. Oh, <laughs> so, um, how long have you been doing the modeling thing, though? Well, I started modeling at 16. Okay. And that's one thing I can say that I was trained on. Actually, a guy who um, is here, his name is Johnny Holloway. Shout out to my boy, Johnny Holloway. Sure. That guy, he actually was the one that trained me on my walk. Okay. Um, and when I say he is nothing to play with, y'all, he is phenomenal. Shout out to Johnny. Yes. Johnny used to make us put on heels and walk on the concrete. Mm. We didn't walk in a building. We did not walk on hardwood floor. We walked on straight concrete so outside. He, so he trained y'all. Trained me like walking in circles. Oh, and if yeah. you were tired, he would be like, you tired? Oh no, we ain't tired. Keep walking. Keep walking. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God. You know, your strut had to keep on. You couldn't, your definitely. walk could not get lazy or anything, y'all. And it was just like, oh my God. So. Shout out to Johnny. That's, that's where the modeling came in. And a lot of people ask me, like, why you don't want to take that modeling thing to the career? And I'm like, 
Get modeling is just more of a just a fun house. It's one of your vices that you can just do. Yeah, I can, you know ju I can just do. Like I, it, I can turn it on, turn it off, and because so many people know me from doing so many shows, no they link up with me. I want to personally have you in my scene and stuff like that. So mm. I never really thought about making modeling such a career. Like not like I like this, not like my dance. Like, my dancing is on a whole another level from this month. Most definitely. But I love my, don't get it twisted. I love a runway, baby. Put me on the runway, hey, I will climb. By any model agency, please put her on the runway. I'm talking about she go have that motherfucker. Just to walk along, you feel? Well, we're actually having our uh, fashion explosion fashion show this Saturday. Okay, man. So we don't. What's, what's the date on it? What's the date that on it? It is March the 27th. It's going to be at Paragon okay. uh, on Winchester. Um, we sold over 200 tickets. Oh yeah, yeah. So right. it, it's about to be a huge explosion, y'all. We have 10 designers. Mm. We have about 15, 20 models, six photographers. We got the whole 360 photo booth, mm. like popping the pulse, putting on a sick ass performance. Hey man, come hey, on man. now. I had to come to this. So I'm just to saying, oh, you know, <laughs> tickets sold at the door for 25. So mm. if you want to pull up. Pull up, hey, come I might want to pull up pop pump. They don't. They don't pay hey, no gang. Nah, 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 nah. no so what your what your co what what choreography? Is that how I post yeah. it? Do when you do who who you look up to or do you just be like I just you just go off the head or it's a little you know bit of both. Okay. It's a little bit of both. Okay. Um man, Debbie. Debbie Allen. Oh, that's yeah. a that's the queen. Yes, yes. <laughs> Debbie Allen. Paula oh, Abdul, mm. Janet Jackson, Tiana Taylor, okay. Ciara. Oh, yeah. Man, like, when Ooh, I say. Nice heavy hitters. Yes. Like, <laughs> I, I see. I, yeah. I, 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 I watch them. I watch videos. I see their passion, and it just it speaks to me. Okay. That's why I say this dancing is, is personal. And then a lot of times, it just, I'm telling y'all, it just come off the dome. You give me a song. I don't have to know the words. Mm -hmm. I can just throw with feel the beat. It, you feel it, yeah, you I feel, feel that beat. I feel the tone. I feel the melody of it, and it's just like I get it. I make. I can hit you with something in five or ten minutes. I get it. Let's go. Dang. So what you want? One need do have it. Well, not that long. One of your um things that you did. You was in a Don Trip video. Was. Uh, how was that experience? You know, just working with, um, uh, with a known rapper from the city. You know yes. what I'm mean? saying? So I had a I have a, a a girlfriend of mine that went to Lane with me. Mm -hmm. Um, she uh I'm not sure if they're still together. Her boyfriend at the time. Okay. He does a lot of uh, videography and he does a lot of it for Don Trip. Okay. okay. And she hit my inbox up on Instagram one day and it was like, I got a job for you. I need you. And I was like, Okay, what you need? What you got? Mm -hmm. And she was like. You got the perfect body for it, and she was like, she just ran, ran the whole thing down to me. It was like, Don Trip got this new video he want to come out with, and my boyfriend's gonna record it. And da -da -da. Mm -hmm. So the concept is, we gonna paint your whole body in gold, glitter Woo. gold. And I was like, Woo. man, my whole body like paint me in glitter gold. And she was like, yeah. I was just excited <laughs> enough to have been asked, right? I you know. You know so my whole look. thing was okay. You know, this really finna pop off. So, I, listen, hey. I got the details. I was sent with the location. I got in there. Yeah. Get out the clothes. She started painting me and Amen. glittering me up. And <laughs> baby had a mask on me. I had guns and chocolates. Oh, yeah, I, 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 I was like, I'm just trying to get rich. Okay. <laughs> I'm just trying to get rich. Uh, so. I was like, okay. So, this day. Mm -hmm. So, that, that was, yeah. That was one for me. That was a cool experience. Can you see yourself doing some more? I can. I like because you got. I definitely can. Doing some more, I actually what I'm want to make this dance thing. I want to be an actual, like a professional celebrity choreographer. That's, that's my goal. Hey, that's hey, that's where it's at. Like for real, for real though. I think you're gonna do it though. Cause, oh, I'm pushing. You know what I'm saying? So this, like, like I said, that was just the model. She model. She dances, and she also is a fucking teacher. <laughs> So with the like you're a busy woman, apparently. I have no idea. <laughs> no idea. So uh, with the school thing, like, um, are you happy that they're bringing him back to in the school, or is you rather stay viral? I'm I mean, just stay be honest. Online. It it's an up and down roller coaster. I mm -hmm. won't lie to y'all. In the beginning, um, I will be honest. I was like, this is 
gonna be kind of tough mm -hmm. because number one, you guys, I work with special education. Oh, I didn't know that. Didn't know so that. that's a lot, yeah, yeah. especially for kids that have learning disabilities, and everybody's not on the same level. Most definitely. You know what I'm saying? Most so you got some kids that have got a little bit of physical disability but not much most of them have the learning disability most of them are you know what i'm saying right. higher level lower level mid level so it was like oh my god how are we gonna do this you know how are we gonna do this and they their speed and like you know it was just, it was a whole adjustment it can be i'm pretty sure it was like stressful goddamn yes it was really stressful in the beginning and then mm -hmm. Once it got to the point where things started to kind of like die down with the COVID and stuff, and they got them talking about we're gonna let this let them back in and stuff, I was up and down with that too, because <laughs> right. I was like, okay, now we done got them used to this virtual. Now right. we gotta get them back in the system exactly. of going in the class, but we still gotta be six feet. We still gotta have our mask. Oh like, shit! Like it's still we, certain, we're it's still, still virtual though. You know what I'm saying? So oh, today was the first day I went back into the school, and I'm st we got. Most of our kids are still at home, and then some of the kids are at school. Oh, shit. So, we're still doing virtual at school. <laughs> so, I'm just like, shit. it ain't no way, you know. It's, it's no way to lose with this situation. Oh, my, my you know, that, I'm I'm more of a hands-on, especially for spare kids. Okay. So, I'm oh, I'm good, cool with the fact that some of the parents love, wanted their kids to come back. Mm -hmm. But most of our parents was like, no. So it's maybe I maybe had I had two today, but in the most I only got maybe three. Talk about two just in the class? Yeah. Okay. Dang. As far as speed, like yeah. it's some general ed kids that's there as well. But okay. As far as our speed kids, it was only two. And wow. overall, it may be only three or four that come to the class. Everybody else, they home. Sound like this COVID night. This shit, like how have this shit affected your uh, like everyday little? Well, for, I know it affected your job, of course, because you're a teacher, but just far as with everything, your dancing, your model, has it affected well, everything? Well, definitely it kind of um, hit a uh, hit home with my uh, my popping and pumps. Okay. Because well, yeah. Hey. Even though, like I said, it's not necessarily about the money with me, but you know, from where I'm, what I'm doing, and where I'm at, and what I'm trying to go, mm -hmm. it's it took a step back. Most so different. it was just like, damn, okay, now I can't really have classes or nothing like this. So. I had, a, I had my moment for a few months that couldn't do nothing, but I had to adjust to it. I had to do what I had to do. But I will say, mm -hmm. even through the COVID, when it first really hit, I did at least maybe two or three virtual classes. Oh, bad ass. So, Shout out to you. I didn't even <laughs> come up with that idea because my mind was all dang. Because I'm so used to going in the studio. Yeah, it would be so hands on with them, really. I was like, I didn't even think about it. Okay, maybe I could do some virtual. But mm. until some people he ended up calling me and was like, well, I got a birthday coming up and I still want to do your class. Okay. How do you feel about doing it virtual? And I get all the girls on Zoom. And we, I was like, I ain't think about it. <laughs> and when they yeah. hit me with it, it was like, okay, we can do that. Yeah, so smart, I ended up though. doing about two or three of them. And then of course, you know, as time got to progress and to go on or whatever, kind of slowly but surely got back in the class mm -hmm. and got back in the studio. Even now, I still make sure that I check check, uh, check temperatures. I make them uh, sign a COVID waiver. Right. I make sure that everybody's coming there mask up. Most definitely. Period. <laughs> and we play it safe. We do what we gotta do, and they love it. That's just what that is. It is what it is. Yes. It's a busy one. So what you been so busy? It's a lot of guys out here want to know. Like, is Miss Watson single or is she? What's she doing out here? Is wow. She... <laughs> well, the asses don't see no ring on none of these fingers, do it? <laughs> but seriously, though, no, Miss Watson is a free spirit. Okay, then. Okay, no, then. not married, not conversating with anyone, not in a, in a situation ship, mm. you know, people got different names for things, but I'm not in a situation ship, I'm not in a relationship. No. It's, it's all about moi. So, if I can, <laughs> I'm just letting you know, whoever Sorry. come along and whoever want to come ride this way, baby, you got to be able to ride with this. You got to be able to, this train is on the move, okay? Okay, then. So, you got to be, you got to be. Oh, um, you got to be ready, like, because I'm on go mode, and if you can't rock with these, then. Well, okay, stay, stay, so I'm glad you back. said that. So what you been, what you been a uh, busy lady? Like when you have been in a relationship, has there been a problem? Has there been actually a no? I word no, it's good. never been a problem. If anything, is 
they've been very encouraging. Okay, then, very supportive. Good. Some type of dude you need to mess with. See, you know what I'm saying? Th Hello. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm just saying. Yeah, they've been there. I've had guys that be very supportive. I mean, I have you had I guys? Got friends that I conversate with every now and then. Mm -hmm. They 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 like what I do. They take their hat off to me. They salute me all the time. So it's cool over Y'all don't see it. Don't see it. <laughs> so listen, uh, okay, I feel ask you about the commercial that you did for uh, I wanna make sure I get it nine right. G Herbo. G what's the nine? Not G Herbo. Um, Grove. Grove, Grove Hero. Hero. Jesus Christ, dear. Grove Hero. How was that interview? Because it seemed like I had a lot of, like I was tripping on that job. I was so nervous, <laughs> y'all, because I know how much he checked. My, I know, right? And all I was saying was, oh, he gonna check me. <laughs> he gonna check me. <laughs> and I just got to act like I can't get mad because I don't know how to check. <laughs> but y'all, the lady who, um, who worked at the tech service place, she, I actually did a, um, a video for her tea, for mm. her tea for uh for slim and losing weight and okay. everything. I had okay. recently did a video for her, like a workout video. Okay. And um, she ended up hitting me up and asked me could I come do this commercial or whatever for her tech series. And I was like, okay. And she was like, I'm gonna have Road Hero come and did it. I said, oh my god. <laughs> I said, wait, 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 you gotta give me a minute. And she was like, no, nah, don't be nervous, don't be nervous. He, he. I said, uh-uh, baby, I see his videos. He gonna rock me. And I ain't with it. But, y'all, he is so mad cool. Okay, yeah. He really made me feel comfortable okay. and got me together because before we even started, he was like, they were telling me what to say when he mm -hmm. walked in and he was like, Man, look, I'm just gonna walk in and I'm gonna be like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Who can I get my text done from? Um, and then you're gonna be like, welcome to, welcome to so and so, so and so, look, oh man, nigga, you just telling me what to say. Okay. And I was like, oh my God. I was like, <laughs> y'all, when I say we had to literally do the video at least five or six times because I, I kept laughing. I already know. I could not stop laughing, y'all. Every time I said, look, oh man, nigga, I start laughing at myself. Because he was okay with it. He okay. telling me what to say and I'm in there going. I feel so bad saying this to him. And he going, man, it's all right, it's all right, we cool, we cool. And I'm going, man, look. So by the time we got into the video, y'all, I, I started getting comfortable. Because uh -huh. he checked me about a couple times, and then towards the end, I said, I got to get him back, I got to get him back. So when it was time for me to give him the check, he was like, man, just give me my check. You know, and he checked me again, and I said, where, where you want me to put it? Man, I, I put it. the icing on the cake at the end, because I... You know, and so, that was stupid for him. <laughs> yes, but it was an experience, y'all. It was super cool. It was super fun. He's mad cool. Shout out to Grove Hero because he is doing yeah. his thing. Yeah, he is out, making some moves. And he doing good shit. Mine, like, good stuff positive good shit. Definitely. So I salute him for sure. For sure, for sure. So listen, we got real good news. Like, like you know what I'm saying? You got big, big, big dog news, y'all. Oh my God. <laughs> she got accepted. To do this P Valley thing, I know she fit to be in it for sure. But my, just talk about you sending your shit in and just, you know what I'm saying, and getting getting that call with that, that email back like, hey, we gonna yeah. choose. Oh, he gonna make me cry. <laughs> oh God, yeah, no, I'm, like, I'm a hardcore bitch, but I got a sister side. Love a little bit. Nah, for real, though, cause but, that's a big deal though. Really. Yeah. So, um, once I saw the flyer posted, y'all, people had already started tagging me. Right. I had somebody had already sent it to me to my phone personally and as soon as I seen it my mind just went man you only get one chance at this thing called life and I'm gonna shoot for the stars because it's just me myself and I at this point I got no kids I got over two dogs and I'm by myself if this is my chance that if God is letting me know that I got some things that I'm, re I'm ready for you to do mm -hmm. then I need to step out there and I need to do it so once I saw the flyer about them having auditions for P Valley, I just was like, it's it. Fuck you tell me. Yeah, I already had my resume done. See, as a professional, you're supposed to have stuff like that already done. Most so definitely. let me just give y'all some Yeah, put them off the diet. Put them off the diet. You know what I'm talking about? Like, their resume long, but I'm just letting y'all know. Whatever you out here doing, like I said, I don't care if it's doing her, doing nails, setting clothes, whatever. Get your resume in line and make sure it's already on point and make sure it's very well detailed. Mm -hmm. Your name, your phone number, your email, etc. Make sure that stuff is already on point because they look for this. Okay. It's got to be on a professionalism level. Mm -hmm. So I made sure I had my resume on point. I already had me um, a headshot. Okay. 
Okay. Of course, I'm out, well, yeah. so I take a lot of pictures, Most you definitely. know. <laughs> but it's important for a lot of people, like I said, whatever business you do, it's important to make sure you get pictures and make pictures. And if it is you just a headshot, y'all, yeah, yeah. get you somebody to take you some pictures, y'all. So I sent the headshot in, I sent the resume in, and I left it in God's hand. I said one prayer, y'all. Just one. I bullshit y'all not. I said one prayer. That's all it takes. The day I sent everything in, I got on my knees and I went in my prayer class. I said, God, I don't know what you got for me. Mm -hmm. I said, but here I am. My arms are open and I'm open and I'm ready. Whatever it is, I receive it. Right. That's all I said. The next couple of days passed. I just was mad about doing my regular stuff. Mm -hmm. My perform, my popping and pumps, teaching, all that. Right. I got an email. Hey, we got your first um, email. Here you, we're ready for you to do your second audition. We need a video. Then they were like, they needed a monologue and they needed a slate. So a slate is basically you just giving your name, where you're from, um, and letting them know that you're okay with like nudity and stuff like okay. this. They kept that type of show. Right. I did all of this stuff at the studio in 30 minutes. Oh yeah. When I tell y'all in 30 minutes, <laughs> I did everything in 30 minutes. Pre per, y'all heard it. Right? I was playing like, like y'all need this. I ain't gonna waste y'all time. Here you go. I'm gonna send it to you. No so once I did the video and did everything in 30 minutes, I shot it to them that night. Mm -hmm. And at this point, it's just a waiting process, y'all. So right. again, right. I said one prayer is all in God's hand. And if I get a call back and say, come on to Atlanta, <laughs> I'm going like this. <laughs> I'm on my way. I'm on the way. I ain't waiting on nobody. I ain't waiting on nobody. I'm gonna let them know. Here I come. I'm telling you, you already got that job. I appreciate right. it. For sure, for sure. That for can't deny this personality, this attitude, man. You know, it's all positive. It's the right? energy yeah. for them. Oh, so did you did you go to the um what is this? The Memphis Hip Hop Award? Or the, I didn't go this year. I'm I, I wanna say I know you was nominated. What, what you nominated? I was nominated. I was nominated model of the year. Most definitely. I would feel to say that I know you had you got some little shit up under your belt. Man, look, <laughs> I actually won. Um, I won in 2019. Yeah, I, I know. Nobody ran against me in 2020, so I kept the crown going. Okay, so the crown still on top of it, mother. I'm just saying. And hey, so, what is <laughs> what advice do you have for um uh, girls of like you that want to like dive in the modeling or dive into the dancing or whatever or even just want to be a teacher what, what I advice mean, do you have? I mean whatever you want to do I don't care it, whatever you want to knit something you want to knit sweaters it's okay with I'm, I'm just saying I'm all different. don't What's okay? don't talk about it don't sleep on it do it y'all like mm -hmm. again my motto for the rest for this year is man you only get one chance at this thing called life and if you spoil it and waste your time waiting on somebody else, mm -hmm. delivering your information or delivering your what you're trying to do to somebody else, they're going to do it before you. Okay. And it's just real talk. Get out here and hustle and get your grind. I don't care if you got kids. Make it happen. You can do it. It's a, like, find your way. Right. If you don't got kids, you got all, you got time. <laughs> right. You got all the time. I'm just saying. That's what my bag said. You got time today. I got time every day. Whatever something you need me, I'm telling y'all, y'all can see my calendar for the rest of my, for April, all the way to May. God has been too good, and I'm telling y'all, like, and that's just because my energy, my humbleness, and I'm telling you, I I, I do that because when I leave, when God is ready for me to leave, y'all, can't nobody say nothing bad about me. I'm okay. They gonna say, man, that girl energy was always on point. Her energy was always through the roof. She kept a smile. She kept me. She kept you engaged. She kept you mm. like she she was life. Okay. I wake up every morning. I look in the mirror, y'all, and I put a smile on my face. I just get up and I go, "Good morning." How you doing? Let me see how you hey, doing. How you doing? <laughs> Good morning. Today is all about you. It's your day. You know. Oh, if I don't, you know, pep talk yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, don't you you go to bed, you feel like you don't have a messed up day, a bad day, or whatever. Huh? Get up, write it down, or whatever you need to do. Write your thoughts out, or if you need to get up, and you just need, like I said, go look in the mirror and say, you know what? Today was a messed up day, but guess mm -hmm. what? I'm smiling. <laughs> you hear me? Yeah, yeah. I'm here, and guess what? Tomorrow is a new day. Okay. So that's just my advice, man. Go forward, push. Perseverance is everything, y'all. Mm -hmm. Everything. I use that word a lot. Everything. I talk a lot in my classes to my ladies, and I tell I tell my ladies in my class that 
I don't want you to come to my class thinking that I'm making you be a professional dancer. Mm -hmm. This may not be what you want to do. You just want to come and let your hair die. Right. You work, you got kids, you have more homework, you got to go to your nine to five, you got feedback, you all that. Right. Get baths, make them. You just want to come and let your hair down. You just want to enjoy yourself and have a good time. That's what I want you to do. All day. Like, that's just what it is. So, y'all, don't sleep on it. Don't sleep on your dream. If you got a vision and you done wrote it out, it's time to put it into action. And that's just it. That's the first step. No, nah, you said some real shit. That's what I'm doing. That is exactly what I am doing with this. <laughs> so, you, you said you're speaking some real shit. So, what's the, um, I know, I, you and P. London, right? Y'all did have like a little. We did a class together. Y'all did okay. Y'all did a class together. It was so, it was it was taking it was her class. I just kind of like came well, in. Well, you really came in, and kind of choreographed some shit. <laughs> <laughs> so it's cool. But what's the, <laughs> what's um uh, what's y'all relationship? What is y'all relationship though? I kind of saw that, so I had to ask you. We that was my first time ever really meeting her. I okay. actually she reached um, out to you. I no, she actually didn't. So. Okay. What happened was, I am a, a, a brand ambassador for Major Pieces Boutique. Okay. Um, shop her, baby. Like, I'm talking about all the ladies' fashion. Y'all go online, y'all gonna see me first. <laughs> I'm all over the um, I'm all over the website. I'm just letting y'all know. <laughs> so, um, shout out to Tanika Bland. She's the business owner of Major Pieces Boutique. Mm -hmm. um, she always does these different type of events and things for like her birthday. So, she ended up having like a sidewalk sale for her birthday. Okay. And she was like, I want you to come up there and the ladies, they come up there and do a little shopping and stuff. I kind of want you to kind of show them a little couple moves and things like that. I never knew that P. London was coming. Mm, okay. okay. I had only knew that she asked me. Man. So a couple of days before the event, she ended up sending me information and said, you and P. London going to kind of show the girls and stuff what to do or whatever at the boutique. Okay. I was like, oh, okay. I ain't never, I, I never met people. I'm cool with it, whatever. Right. But when P. London got there, she ended up, oh, I know you, girl. You popping the pumps. And right. I was like, okay. She <laughs> thought, what's up? What's up, P? Right. You know? Right. So right. we at there. We did. We done talked like what we finna teach and what we finna do. She got on her live. I got on my live. And she ended up saying, I do classes at so and so so and so. She was like, you need to. She was like, we, we should collab and do something together. I said, well, let's do it. Right. So. She had a class that was already coming up, and she ended up putting it together and everything. And I just told her, I said, well, I don't mind collabing with you coming up there and link up with you or whatever. So that's how that happened. She ended up having a class. The ladies came. I let her do most of the kind of like what she do because it was most of her class. I ain't want to intrude or nothing. I was kind of just kind of like being the hype girl for a minute or whatever. So once it got towards the end, I was like, all right, let me get my look. Hmm. Let me yeah. put my little thumb in here. Let me get my little two cents over here. Alright, guess what? We finna do some choreography. Let's go. Mode so we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this, and they loved it, they enjoyed it, and okay. and that was up, it. Real that big up to P London for everything she doing out here. Right, so shout, shout out to her. Shout out P London one time. Well, Miss Watson, it has been a real pleasure. <sighs> Having here, I know you tried to outfit. We now you gonna have to come back, cause of course you finna be on P Valley and shit. So you had to come back and do another jump with me. We we'll have to do this shit again. You know what I'm saying? If you don't mind, I, I think I got some. I got some more questions I wanna ask you. I just kind of, you know what I'm talking about. I need to know these questions. Give me a hint. <laughs> it's okay. You throw a little something. You throw a little hint. Nah, it's just. It just look personal. Uh, oh, personal. I ain't gonna get in your personal business. You're not ready to get in. I know. I asked you about your single. Ain't wanted to know am I single. Hey, no I'm ring. A <laughs> single as it comes. Hey, so, so they want to say so you is single. So what? What? Okay. Do you think with being on social media in your relationship, right? Do you think like posting your significant other like can save it? Or think, do you think like posting your significant other can kind of damage this shit? Wow. Wow. Um. <laughs> Cause you know, like some folk, like I'm put, like me being honest, I see a lot of po posting their boyfriend, okay. posting their girlfriend, okay. Okay. need to sign folks who be doing the most. So I would say, me personally, I would think I want. I, I, I think I say kind of have mine kind of private. Now, what I know, what now, kind of, kind of private. Then okay. pop out. And we'll see what happens. But I'm just gonna keep going, honey. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it all the way real thorough. Y'all, y'all see who I am, right? So that means I'm a huge big deal. 
Most celebrity. definitely. I'm a whole celeb out here. Most I'm just going to call it what it is. Call it what I see. So if you see me, right. and you rocking with me on my arm, you can't do nothing but be seen, baby.